Welcome there, I'm Adam, and uh, welcome to my mechanism description for operating a Formula One jack. As you may know, this device is used to lift Formula One cars during pit stop maneuvers, and as such operates in a very fast paced environment. The design of the F1 jack is all centered around lifting the car as fast as possible, and releasing it with a simple push of a lever. It's also worth noting that uh, unlike traditional hydraulic jacks for cars, these Formula One jacks are just simple lever arm systems. This is because of the fact that the cars are lightweight enough that a uh, jack mechanic can operate this simply all just by the push of his hand. All you need is the force of one person. So to demonstrate the jack mechanism, I'll be using this broomstick. Just imagine, of course, that the far end of this stick is the lifting tray of the system, as you can see in the images right here on screen. So let's get right into it. So, to begin with, the color diagram right here, courtesy of Craig Scarborough, gives a good demonstration for the jack parts. So in the case of this diagram, we're following the journey of a front jack man, although there's also one, keep in mind, position at the rear of the car. Of course, you can see right here, this is the front of the F1 car, by the nose there. That's what we're going to be following along with. Now, within the diagram, notice the four major parts. We have the gray lever arm, which is sort of the backbone, the whole stick, we have the wheel axle, which are the two little wheels at the bottom of the jack, which everything pivots around. We have um, the yellow lifting tray, which makes contact with the F1 car. And then we also have the red quick release line mechanism. Now, you can see here the top handlebars in this 2D picture can be visualized by this broomstick right here as a demonstration. So let's say as I go see right here, this is where, from the top end, where the Jackman will be holding the device. And as the F1 car comes in, he will insert it under the vehicle so that the tray at the bottom goes right underneath the underbody. So step one you see of the operation is insertion. The Jackman is met with a Formula One car, which has come hot off the track and it's arrived at its designated pit marking. In preparation, of course, the Jackman will be positioned at the right spot just as he expects the car to be lined up at, so that he can properly insert the jack as the car arrives. And once the jack is inserted, he knows that the lifting tray, as you will have to know, um, the lifting tray makes contact with the underbody of the car, which has a grippy surface on it. So the lifting tray itself has a bit of a rubbery material, and this way the jackman can easily confirm that it has caught the polished surface of the car. Moving on, we have step two of the process. Um, once the uh, jack is inserted, step two follows with lifting. So a downwards force is applied by the jackman on the handlebars of the jack. This rotational force right here with good leverage as the device has a long length to it. And this rotational force is translated at the end of the lifting system over to the um, lifting tray. And of course, what's at play here is that because the quick release mechanism in red is closed, the lever and the tray will rotate about this given point in unison as it's closed. Now on to step three here. The quick release mechanism plays a key role here. As it's connected to the handlebars of the top of the jack, see of course, as we had in step two, the jack is now lifted up, so the car is up in the air. As step three comes along, you can see here that the quick release system plays a key role. It's connected to the handlebars at the top of the jack. So at the top of the jack, there's two levers that can be pulled. And when they're pulled, a tension cable is being pulled throughout the line, which at the bottom, you can see right there, releases the pin that's holding the lifting tray with the lever arm. So as a result of that, the lifting tray is now in an impending rotational motion as the car's force on one end of the wheel axle is no longer being met by the um, force of the quick release pin on the other side of the axle. So you can see right now that's an impending motion for the car to fall down. Step four is where this comes into play now. Following the impending motion of the lifting tray, which drops the car abruptly, as this drop happens, the jackman operator is to move quickly out of the way um, so that the car can rev back up the speed and exit the pit box. So basically after the step three where the release mechanism is pulled, step four is the jackman moving out of the way with the jack as fast as possible. So that this way the car can pass by. So to summarize the unification of these many smaller components, the Formula One jack is a practical mechanism for teams to perform pit stop maintenance. It's composed of a lever arm driven by the mechanic, a wheel axle, 
for fixing the position of the lever arm to the lifting tray, a quick release pin that controls the connection between the lever arm and the lifting tray, which in turn is used to release and rearm really quickly. So let's follow along here with the simple four step process. We have insertion of the jack, we have lifting, lifting it up, releasing the car as you release the pins, and four is the dropping of the car and moving out of the way. This makes the jack assembly a fairly simple system to use with only the strength of one mechanic. This simplicity lends the device a long lasting reliability to give confidence to the pit crew in the fast paced operating environment of F1. And there you have it. Thank you very much for listening.